<laughs> welcome back to my channel it's been a while since i've uploaded a video because i was getting a new phone <laughs> i wasn't happy with the quality of my old phone so i got a new one but today i wanted to sketch some like book covers so the first sketchbook cover um or no wait the first book cover that i'm sketching out is um of this book that i had in mind that I've had in mind since I was in 10th grade and it's just like a ghost story I'll explain later on in the video but here I'm just sketching out um his head and the idea for this book cover was to like make him peek through and look at the main character through the door frame <laughs> because you know it's a it's a ghost story it's a creepy book <laughs> um <laughs> so that's what I'm doing and it's just the thumbnail right now so uh, later on, I'll add like the darker shapes and stuff He's like that. Be, like, so, a yeah. pretty, pretty skinny and like bony guy. <laughs> so, here I'm just adding like details such as his eyes and I'm making him a little bit more bony. Like I said, this is just the thumbnail, so the finished product will be like all blended and stuff. So, yeah. I'm probably going to switch between this Pentel quick eraser and my kneaded eraser. For erasers because I don't really like these so I'm gonna start sketching like oh I need a ruler I'm using the Krita color mega graphite in 9b I got this in the sketchbox subscription box <clears throat> Maybe do some like tiny eyes or something to make it like even more like scary. Maybe some messy brows. I'm not really gonna worry about the rest. I just kind of want his face to be the main focus and then I'm gonna go in with my blending stub Here's where I start adding all of the details, like his under eye bags, making him super bony, and blending away. This is actually my favorite part. Um, I darkened his face by taking the blending stub and um, just blending all over his face, but later on I darkened it even more because like the background was too dark and his face looked super white and that just is not realistic. So I'm going to use a 4H pencil and I'm going to start drawing in the hair. The time that I was doing this, I didn't really know how he looked. I actually look it up later on. <laughs> um, but I just drew on the hair. I figured it would be kind of messy since he is a ghost. He's supposed to be a ghost anyways. This kind of reminds me of Harry Styles just a little bit. <laughs> he dedicated this book to my imagination for being there with me. <laughs> oh, so this guy's name was Noah. <laughs> I just remembered that. So it's about this girl named Alexandria moving to Canada. So she's a new person in Canada. I don't remember why. Um, so she's sitting in like the van while her parents are driving me towards a new house. And um, she's like reading some articles about a new house. He up an article talking about a murder that happened there. And she's an artist. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's been it's been a while since I updated this story. This is actually okay. So I was writing this during NaNoWriMo, um, and I don't remember if it was like the camp or um if it was like the actual NaNoWriMo month, which is in November, which was last month. Um, but I do remember just like typing away, not really knowing where, where I was going. But this is actually pretty well written considering, considering the other story that I wrote last month was just a mess. I didn't finish it. I went up to like four thousand words. Um, and it's got a ten days, so that's not good because yeah, I think NaNoWriMo you do it. Yeah, you know, they have to write at least a thousand. This is back when I didn't know anything about art and I just started drawing just to draw. So I'm gonna have to realize that because I'm writing this Alexandria character that's like a, a, an artist who doesn't care about color theory when in fact color theory is pretty important. So he has a bunch of scars on his face, deep under eye bags, and unkempt hair, but I don't remember what color. I don't say what color. I never actually truly described him. That makes me so mad. <laughs> Maybe it was an artistic choice. Oh, I wish I had described him a little bit more in detail. Anyways, <laughs> that was kind of long. <laughs> Back to my drawing. I feel like now I can start going in with the charcoal. Um, this is medium and this is soft. I think I'll go in with the medium in here and then the soft one out here because... Sorry. Yeah because I want the outside part to be the darkest and I figure, I mean, I've never really like used charcoal professionally. I've always kind of just used it like just rubbing it around. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to use it, but I imagine that the soft one will be darker than the medium because that's how pencils work. I wish I had like a white charcoal pencil or something along those lines, like a white gel pen or something like that, to create some lighting effects. You know, from my very small experience with charcoal, I found that it doesn't really blend well, but this is actually blending pretty nicely. It's the same charcoal sticks that I've always used. So I'm pleasantly surprised. Maybe I'm just using better blending stub techniques. I'm darkening up the background behind him to make it seem like it's way behind him and he's like popping out in front. Oh yeah, this one's so much fun. So tip, if you're using these charcoal sticks, make sure you use it on the side or like this kind of thing. Because if you use it like, like that, you won't get much of a blend. But if you use it like this, it'll be easier to blend. So now I'm going to go in with the soft one. And because this is a larger space, I think I'm going to go in with my fingers. Oh, maybe I should have thought about this before doing this. This is loose pigment on the page. Oh no. <laughs> you guys were probably watching this video being like, uh, that's not a good idea. <laughs> well. <laughs> Oops. Back in with this. And add some more.
especially like on the lighter areas. And like around the door frame. Oh, I don't know if I explained those. He's supposed to be peeking through the door. I feel like I did, but I feel like I didn't. I'm just going to darken up his face just a little bit. I'll just go in with my kneaded eraser and just kind of add some highlights. The pencil just kind of scribble over top of his face and hair. darken it up a little bit and then I'm gonna go in with a cleaner blending stub. I'm just kind of blend out those lines. Well you know as long as the lighting matches the rest of his body not just you know it's like look here's his face and then like everything else is dark I feel like I should be fine. So and I'm gonna go I'm gonna go get a hairspray hairspray bottle with hairspray inside it and spray this before like flipping the page and working on the other cover um I don't have any more hairspray <laughs> uh so I guess what I'm gonna do now is define his details a little bit because I feel like his face looks well okay maybe maybe that was on purpose let's just say that <laughs> So I'm gonna take this paper towel in and So I'm going to go wash my hands really quick. Anyways, that is it for this video. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my mistakes and I hope you got a laugh out of it. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video if you liked it and if you liked you know, my dumbness. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.